Hello all, hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Scott from Bandingo. It's great to have you. Um, it's a bit windy outside, tough to be outside filming. So I thought what I would do is talk about some upcoming projects. Um, so, you know, just the prior video to this was installation of LED bulbs uh, in replacement for the low beams, pulled out the halogen bulbs, and I'm awaiting, uh, should show up in the next day or two, uh, the daytime running light low beam bulbs that I will put in LEDs in replacement of halogen. So that's to come. But uh, one of the things about this van I think is interesting is I installed the two rear windows and the rear doors. And I feel like I want a rear view mirror so I can look back, even though this has the full circumference sort of backup cameras and front camera and the, it's a uh, camera marvel this uh, sprinter van but as i'm driving down the highway i have this desire to look back through those windows to see what's coming from from traffic now the side mirrors you can see very well down the sides it's no problem at all um, but now that i've got those rear um, door or rear door windows i'd like to be able to look back and see what's behind me so after some work with a local mercedes dealer looking online at options i think i've found what i need uh, and I thought I'd show it to you. So I have that project to share with you, plus one other um, that I think is going to really help with the weight that I intend to put in uh, to the cargo area of the Sprinter and the potential of potentially, potentially towing. Uh, so rather than have rear end sag, and I've got a lot of experience with towing, um, having owned travel trailers in the past and towing with trucks, um, <clears throat> so I went out and acquired something else that I'm going to install uh, that will hopefully help um, to improve the ride when I put weight in the cargo area plus towing. But first, let me show you the uh, rear view mirror. It's very simple, um, but I thought I'd show that to you and I'll take you inside of the van out of the wind and talk about where I'm going to place it. Here we go. So here's the part <clears throat> listed very clearly as inside mirror, um, which I think is interesting, inside mirror here. And here's the part number, if you wanted to uh, take a look at this. Relatively inexpensive for a Mercedes-Benz part, which I find interesting. So let's open it up and take a look. Right, very simple. That's the part. Plastic mirror goes right on the window. This is the shoe piece that you glue onto the window that holds it. And that's it. The other pieces that come with it is there's this sort of metal shoe, this that actually goes on the window itself and then slides into here. Slides right into that plastic piece. That's going to go on the window. Mirror slides on it. And then to glue that little piece of metal on, Mercedes-Benz has this specific glue that you buy. Okay, so now let's take a look at that additional support couple of pieces of hardware that I mentioned I acquired because I'm worried about the amount of weight that will go into the cargo van. Plus... Um, potential for uh, trailering, towing, and eliminating that rear sag and just a better overall towing experience. Um, should This should help with crosswinds. It should help with balance of the chassis. Um, there's a number of benefits here from this product. And this came from through E-Trailer and their Super Springs. Let's get in here. Nicely packaged. Got a hardware bag with the U-bolts to help uh, bolt this hardware on. These are the main brackets that go over the top of the axle housing, right? Including with this hardware. And then you have the super springs themselves. There's one. 
too. So you have this roller bearing here, these, this, these brackets that allow for a little bit of a variability in adjustments on both sides. And actually on the install, they go like this over the top of the axle housing, uh, not like this. So picture these on both sides, driver's side, passenger side axle. Now, the rear springs actually go through here, the factory rear springs, for this roller to operate and function. And the adjustability is this, these springs can get closer to this or further away, which changes when these start to activate based on the load. So if you're carrying a heavy load at all times, according to the directions, you would mount them here. You'd squeeze this spring down with a U-clamp and change this bolt, this roller bolt, and mount it here. That would that would provide heavy or much, you know, more consistent heavy stability at all times. Or you could keep it here, which they say in is uh, supports the OEM, the factory ride quality, but still allows for that extra weight support um, and stability support. So those are super springs. Looking forward to installing those for some extra load carrying capability. And that's coming soon. Okay, here we are. Now that these two rear door windows are in and installed, uh, this is the area where I'd like to have a rear view mirror, right? This is the opening so I can see through to the traffic back there. If I'm towing, I can actually see the tow vehicle. Um, that's what's generated this desire for a rear view mirror. While I'm in here, I might as well show you just real quickly the one sort of window opening that's currently sealed that will be changing here soon. Because uh, I just got, even though a lot of uh, van life build uh, components are back ordered, I just got notification after a two week period that my window for this section right here is going to be showing up this week. So that's exciting. That'll be my seventh window that uh, I've cut out of the van, uh, cut the sheet metal out and put a, a new window in. And I feel like a seasoned veteran. So look who joined me for the final installation of the rearview mirror. That's Coco. Hey, Coco. Say hi, Coco. Hey, hi, hi. That's Coco. When she was a puppy and we picked her out, she was purple collar girl. So she's got purple harness on. All right, folks. Let's install this rearview mirror, huh? Shall we? Let's install it. Okay. Hey, how are you? So here we are looking through the front window and you would think you could put a rear view mirror right in here. This is the plastic module that has the forward facing camera, the various uh, light sensors for low uh, daytime running lights. Those kinds of things are up in here. Um, and this piece actually comes off this plastic piece. And there's a little bit of a bolt in there that indicates that you could probably put a rear view mirror in there. But because when you go to the Mercedes store, everything is sort of VIN based when you do the search, this Sprinter van was not built to have the rear view mirror here. But as I said, now that I have those uh, rear door windows, I'd like to be able to take a look at what the tow vehicle's doing behind me as a possibility. So here we have, as I've shown you earlier, the uh, rear view mirror. And I'm thinking it'll simply go right here. Now you might say, what about your sun visor? And yeah, you'd be right. Sun visor's gonna block that. But I'm not gonna be staring at this uh, behind me through this mirror and having to look at that tow vehicle all the time. So I think that's gonna be fine. Um, and I could probably cheat it and move it a little bit this way. I didn't want to mount it onto the plastic here or here because you can see it. there's some, you know, 
movement in that it could break the seal your mirror could drop not sure how that would play out so i'm thinking the spot for it is right there make me more comfortable with the tow vehicle behind me so i can see it through the windows assuming i don't block it with any kind of a major shower uh piece back there when i when i get that installed um but that makes sense to me so that's what i'm gonna do I need to read a little bit more on the directions to see how that adhesive cures before I stick it up there. But that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, I wanted to show you the shoe. This is the sort of the shoe that goes on the window and you can see it's open on top and closed on bottom for a reason. And it's because when this hangs on the window, it needs to slide, that open piece needs to slide onto there, right? And then you slide that onto the window. So that's glued to the window. So that's number one. The other thing is, whoops, this mesh needs to be cut to fit right? Which I think we can do. We're going to cut that to fit that shoe. And that's important because the adhesive is glued onto the window and to that little shoe. Picture it like this up on the window, cut to fit. And then you push the mirror down through there once this is cured and fully strong enough to hold it. This is actually crazy easy. Use that as a guide. And just cut that piece right off of there. Now you have that piece, the mesh, and that metal, I don't know, I keep calling it a shoe or a foot or whatever that is. I don't know why that needs to be a body part. And then that we're gonna glue together onto the window at the appropriate spot. The directions say, clean up the inside of this area where you're going to glue that mount down. And I'm just going to use a simple, you know, microfiber cloth and the trusty Rain-X, right? And we're just going to take it and clean it up. And then get that. Anything that's up there that may be impeding the ability of that adhesive to hold, clean that up really well. And then uh, that's good, I think. Yeah, that looks good. It's dirty on the outside, so it's kind of hard to see, but. So it's gonna go about right there. And then it'll pull down to about right there. And that should do it. So I'm gonna fiddle with that a little bit more and then I think I'm going to apply the adhesive and see what happens. Sometimes this is trial and error. I've never done this before, so let's give it a go. This is looking like a little bit of a surgical setup, but uh, there's nothing like paper towels, by the way, to protect against things like adhesives that are going to hit your plastic dash or hit your nice shiny new nav. So cover it up as best as you can. Um, I'm not sure what this is going to do when I open it. Looks like it could have some explosive capabilities. Um, so be very careful. And then I was just uh, looking at my final sort of mount location here and where that shoe fits, where the shoe fits uh, best before I slide it down. Um, I almost think I want it a little clear of this in case somebody of a different size gets in the driver's seat. So, thinking it goes about right there. So, what's that distance? Peaky finger. And scissor handle. 
That's about what it is. Okay, let's try that. Pinky finger and scissor handle. got that open. I went to gloves too because the gloves are critically important in a moment like this where you're going to get gunk all over you and hopefully not all over the car. So let's go back. Mesh is here. Scissor handle. Pinky finger. say it's right there. We're going to hang on to that for a minute. Hopefully that's going to epoxy on or whatever the heck that mixture is. And stick. It's sticking already. I can tell you that. Pretty straight too. Pinky finger. Yep. Pinky finger. Straighten that baby up a little bit. Yep, good there. We got our pinky space. We got our scissor handle space. And that son of a gun's on there. I gotta wait 15 minutes before I know if I really got this nailed. Maybe time for a sip of wine, relax a little bit, play with the dogs and then come back and see if that mirror slides on there. Let's do that. Okay, listen, this is the moment of truth. Hopefully the thing doesn't pull off the window. Uh, please don't pull off the window. Please don't pull off the window. Please don't pull off the window. Pull off the window. Oh no. Why did it pull off the window? We did not have enough time, perhaps. Not enough adhesive, perhaps. Not quite sure. That didn't turn out right. I'm gonna see if I can dig out some more adhesive. So, trial and error. Uh, so far error. I put the adhesive on, put that foot on there. 15 minutes went by, which is what the instructions said. I went back and took a look. I tried to push the shoe on there and the whole thing fell off. The guy at Mercedes said, you know what? You're probably better off using super glue. And I thought, well, super glue on the windshield. I don't, I don't know. Give me the Mercedes Benz adhesive. Didn't work. So now I put it back on. I drained the whole adhesive thing on there to begin with. And I've gone to the painter's tape, strap it on. Let's see whether maybe tomorrow, give it some cure time. I don't know. I may find myself cleaning that whole thing off. For good, The good news is I've got some more of that mesh. So uh, with that mesh, I can pull that off, put the new mesh on, and I have super glue in the house. So see what happens. I'm going to give it some cure time, though. Let's see what happens tomorrow. See you soon. Hey, welcome back. Next day, a good 12 hours have gone by. We reapplied the adhesive and taped this uh, overnight. And I'm going to attempt to install this uh, rear view mirror on the little foot or shoe, uh, but I am going to spray it with some WD-40 white lithium grease um, to get this to slide on hopefully a little easier. And I'm going to hold this punch right up under the metal shoe as I slide it down to take some of the pressure off of it. So that's the plan. Hopefully we can get this project behind us. Fingers crossed.
let's get this bad boy on here. Uh, WD-40 lithium sprays on here. Hopefully we'll allow that to slide on there. Got my... Worse than I thought. There you go. I like that. And I can see all the way back there to that tow vehicle. That's cool. And she's done. All right, rear view mirror project for the Sprinter van is complete. The adhesive is really strong. I've got no conflict in the operation of this as it relates to just, you know, hitting this plastic or making vibration sounds or whatever. Uh, bringing down the sun visors, no appreciable conflict there either or issue. And now I can see behind me in the, through the two rear windows that I installed in the doors. And I can take a look at those, um, those times when I will be towing a vehicle. I can take a look at that tow vehicle and feel confident of how it's behaving behind me as I'm driving. So not a big deal, not your typical maybe van life um, accessory that you would add, uh, but one that I wanted to add and I thought I'd share it with you. So thanks for joining me for this video. There's many more coming. Um, as a matter of fact, my seat swivels are gonna show up uh, this week. I've got a, a si another side window to install um, that's gonna show up this week and I've got super springs um, that I'm putting on the rear uh, suspension to help uh, improve stability. So a number of, of videos to come. Thanks again for joining me for this video. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Um, hit that like button. If you've got any comments, please send them my way. Please spread the word to your friends who are working on their own sprinters um, or their own van builds because there's more content coming. Thanks and be good. Bye-bye.